right, so welcome to uh, the Call Me By Your Game podcast. This yeah. is the video segment of this episode that we're doing with our very special, cool, handsome older brother guest. Oh, dang. I'm bringing today's real life into this episode, <laughs> Mikey Stevens. Yes. Uh, and we're going to be uh, diving into Metal Gear Solid. Yes. Uh, the first one on the on the PlayStation, and mm-hmm. I'm just going to hand this over to you, my oh, friend, goodness. and let you... Run the ship. Oh, that noise. Isn't that noise nostalgic? Oh. See, I forget. I've been playing this all week, so I've been able to... I've been, like, spurred by that noise all yeah. week. Mm-hmm. We're... You had to have a memory card to play anything, right? Yes. Yeah. It's kind of like, just like... It's probably any... Well... The early disc I mean, technically, system. I guess you didn't, but... You- could have, yeah, man. right. You could probably get through this <laughs> game like, without oh, shutting it, like I in like ten hours, beat right? This straight through. Then, yeah. yeah, you could do that. <laughs> Memory card one. All right, and it even tells us where we are. This is great. Do you cool. want to like go to the heliport? The get, or do you want to like sure. go, where do you want to go? Uh, no, heliport sounds good. Cool. I'll boot you up at the heliport. All right, you're back in, my guy. Oh man, the pressure. That this or starting it. Read mission log. You can if you want. Do whatever you want. Uh, getting used to this game took me a little bit, for yeah. sure. Just because I'm not used to playing a tactical espionage game. Do you remember what you're trying to do here? Yep. We're trying cool. to get upstairs across the way there. Mm-hmm. Um, it took me a while to realize you could even do a little first person view mode, mm-hmm. which is so helpful in some spots. Yes. So I know it's like. There, trying to get up there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, some. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, somewhere up there, there's a duct, something you gotta like and crawl like through. An item over here, if I remember. Yeah, there's there's several stuff scattered throughout. Yeah, that's the that's also the joy of this game is so many like extra items, so many like uh, secrets. I didn't even get a. Uh, I found my first cardboard box, like, right before I fought, like, Ninja. (laughs) So, oh, (laughs) there's a bad guy. (laughs) Gotcha. It takes a lot of punches to knock these snowmen out. It's on the side, bro. Let's go. Sorry, snowman is a nice way to talk about these, like, (laughs) KKK members. (laughs) It's all I, this. Oh, the footprints. Uh, another thing I, I was gonna say. Another thing I yeah. thought like I didn't like because I was you know I'm trying to avoid these guys, but that I thought was pretty cool were the footprints, and just how it's like oh Who's someone footprint? has been here like he's yeah. following your footprints right now. Yep. He's gone to me. Um. Also, this uh, front of this building I realized playing it for the first time is the is Snake Stage in Super Smash Brothers. Uh huh. Um. I already forget what this place is called. Do you remember? Heliport? Or the, like, this whole base. Oh, God. Uh, no. I can't remember off the top of my head either. Um, I mean, I know they're called Foxhound. Yeah. What so is this, this place is called? picking up, like, after Snake has basically discovered that some of Foxhound has, like, betrayed them and is going against. I didn't even do this the first time I played it. I was, like, staying away from danger. Yeah. Stranger danger for me. I, you, dude, you are right to avoid yeah. danger <laughs> in this game for sure. And I know there's an item in here too. Oh, you surveillance can camera? Go Whoa. Straight oh, under this it. is your first interaction with the surveillance camera. I think, if I remember correctly, you like, if you're still. I can't remember how to do this. As long as you're still and it moves, then you can move. Oh, that's cool. Do you know about that? No. Yeah. I've just been hiding under these guys. Yeah, you can like... Oh, so three stun grenades. So it, if I am if I remember correctly, a section of Foxhound led by Liquid Snake yes. is rebelled and is going to like launch nukes or something like that. Uh-huh. You're basically trying to stop like the world's destruction. And you have a lot of people, which we've seen the colonel already on our com, on our codec communications. Yes. That are helping you through the game. You have your own squad as well. Yeah. Uh, Which were helpful to me in a way. Like, a lot of times it happens to me 
uh, and especially I've been playing a lot of older games lately, and I especially when I'm unfamiliar with games I forget how I can get stuck so easily. Yeah. Uh, especially now when while I'm playing a game I probably got my phone out I'm probably thinking about other totally. stuff. Totally. I like won't be as fully focused on an experience like this yes as i should be so i'll miss little details yeah um for sure but the team was actually super helpful for me when i was like when i would try to be like wait what am i supposed to do next that's i would I just think that's our sole purpose yeah. is like they ex <laughs> they are like pre-internet they are or, you know what i mean good internet anyway like having it on your phone at all times so if you're like i forget what i'm supposed to do that's when you open the codec and yeah. you're like Give uh, a call to somebody. Yeah, what I, I remember there's some fun numbers too. If you, if you press, you may not. You may. Oh, so memory. You, that's right. There we go. Um, there's like some fun channels in here too that you can call up, and it's like Good. jokes, got jokes and stuff. Weapon. Yeah, that was the other thing about this game. It had a real sense of humor. It did. There's a lot of funny little bits in this game. Uh, that are, that kind of break up the After you, you know, monotony of being you want, sneaky and stealthy, and mode. it's like it the it doesn't take itself to too seriously. True, you but also it's like a, it's like a serious a game, you know? It is. Yeah, uh, that was one thing I was actually talking to Jeremy about yesterday. Um, was how so there are points in this game where I can and then I can't tell how. If it's trying to, if it's in on the joke, or if it's in on making fun of itself, totally. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I feel like it totally gets it, and others I'm like, snake, especially mission. with snake and like any interaction with any woman in this game, I was like, uh, wait, they, they know what they're doing here, right? I just, I couldn't totally tell. All the yeah, time. yeah. So it just, it gave me a number to call, and then I totally exited it out on accident. So I was trying to see I if I could Natasha. Hit it. Nastasha. Let's make this Russian name even more Russian. Let's add a, <laughs> another S. Nastasha. Um, I forgot what it was. Oh, I know there's something in that truck, though. Yep. I remember that, too. God, I get in there. This guy's on his way. In that opening... Um oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what? I was hidden. Oh, no. Oh, we get away from... Leave him alone, y'all. That sound effect, man. So good. All the sound design in this game is so oh, good. Oh, dead. Well, we'll pick up where we left off. I have died so many times playing this game. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's how it goes. Um, the first boss, uh, which uh, we may or may not see while we play through this, but... Um, oh, Ocelot Revolver? Mm -hmm. Revolver, Revolver Ocelot? Ocelot. Um, he... He never brought me to the brink of death. What brought me to the brink of death in that game, in that battle, was me running into the trip wire on accident. Because uh, that's when that president is tied up, uh -huh. and it was that. W it was user error. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, th this this is a. Uh, you're supposed to fail a lot to yeah. get. Because it's like I think five times I ran into the trip wire, which you can avoid easily. <laughs> yeah. No, totally. It's it it is a very memorization based camera? game. Mm -hmm. It's like once you kind of understand the mechanics, you do it enough times. I played this so much that I could do certain aspects of the game so quick. Like I remember being able to just blast through mm -hmm. this first area so quick. Oh yeah. Um because this was also again in the demo, which I played possibly more than the <laughs> whole game, you know, like I played it over and over and over and over. I loved it so much. Um, so, okay. Items. There were a few parts in this game, too, where, especially being a completely new experience to me, um, I was so proud of myself when I would figure out something. Like, there's a p part in this game, which you may or may not see today, where you walk into this hallway and you have to get to the end of this like hallway and corridor somehow but one the floor is electric mm -hmm. like the floor the, there's like electric panels so you can't walk or you'll get electrocuted you can't just chill in there for too long because there's gas mm -hmm. that is slowly draining kind of like your oxygen when you're swimming it's slowly draining this meter yep and after it gets drained you start to lose your life um 
I realized I had just we had just used in some other part of this some other little like mission I had to do in this game the Nikita missile where you yeah. shoot it and you control it yes and it suddenly clicked for me and I was like oh I'm supposed to use these missiles and guide it through this thing and right. blah 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 and I was so proud when I figured yeah. that out yeah th- it's really this g- this game in general there's so many moments where it's so gratifying yeah. it's so frustrating you're banging your head against the mm-hmm. wall trying to figure this one thing out over and you get it and you're just like oh my god yeah i am the king <laughs> yeah i would be interested even just because i'm a little familiar with it now going back and my s- on like a second playthrough how i would feel yeah i bet i would be Ooh, st- stay away from me guy i'm interested to see how comfortable i would be uh, and be able to just like now that i know some of the abilities and techniques better yes So Snake, a lot of times in this game, if you haven't played it, uh, you could obviously take care of the enemies, but especially early on when I don't think you have even the SOCOM. I do now. Oh, you do? I just got it in that truck. And your ammo is limited, in there. obviously. Yes. It, it is. You often are not rewarded for no. combat. So You want to uh, avoid it. You truly do. So um, I'm going to hey. go in here, but not yet. Because I do remember there's an item on that far side. I'm going to wait for this dude. Oh, yeah. You had turned around. I thought you had gone through, and I was like, wait. This doesn't look like the inside of this place. No. Good. You've got yourself. Okay. Uh-huh. I do like how you can... Um, one thing I thought was really cool about using weapons in this game was you can just click R1 to put it away and bring it back, and yes. you've reloaded the gun yeah. by that point. Yeah. <laughs> I used that in several battles. <laughs> There it is. One four one. Oh yeah, Nas- five, Nastasha. <laughs> so many times. Yeah, let's talk to our weapons expert. Five two. Uh, one point one five two. I think so. Hey, there we are. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. A giant cigarette hanging out of her mm-hmm, mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have that in Great. common. That'll be uh, that'll be locked in. Okay, good. The nuclear. It's so hard not to. There's I. Several times in this game, I've also accidentally called someone back, but they do give you more information. Mm-hmm. So, but it, you, but a lot of the times you've already gotten the important information that you needed. Right. So there's like no point. I mean, you could just stick around for it, but I'm usually too impatient, and I want to like just blow through it. And not listen to them. Who's calling you now? That base must have some kind of ventilation yeah, man. I'm in the yeah, air right? <laughs> this is Thank helpful you. for me because when I was playing this, I was still out, like, hiding behind boxes in the snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you are very familiar with this. Oh, no, yeah. It take, it take a while yeah. to, to, I mean, to do anything in this game. It's just, like, trial and error. You die. You try again. What is over here? Nothing? Really nothing? Dang. Wasted everyone's time. Very I sorry. I apologize. No, you're not wasting anybody's what time. Up? This is helpful to see. So we're seeing Snake crawl for the first time. He's infiltrating this base. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that this air, this base was going to be like, and I know there are sections to it, but I thought that it was going to be like one area, and then I go across the co- across the continent to a different uh. area. Uh, that could have been just me not paying great attention as I was going through this uh is there briefing you yeah the briefing hey Miller. Mas- uh, a long time. Was, we call him master, master. What mm-hmm. are you doing here? <laughs> quit being a drill McDonald instructor Miller. so i moved out here for some peace and quiet. great voice acting totally. great writing Just the like tran the Once um in a while, I still help train the, the well, i want to say translation the translation is great mm-hmm. uh <laughs> like the uh, localization is what i guess yes. i should say the localization yeah, yeah, yeah. is great um i've been going through uh, Final Fantasy VI well, recently on the Super Nintendo no Classic, and the localization in that game is famously so bad on, yeah. and famously just so an- just so annoying. Like, yeah. uh, as as I played as I'm playing through it, there are parts that like I know they meant to for the character to express something different. Sure. But in this game, I feel like it does such a good job. Yeah. I forget how to. 
Use that triangle to look up and down in there. I kept thinking something was just gonna like jump out and get me as I was going through this. Huh? Yeah. Ooh, cutscenes. So this is one of the first floor we've probably we've already seen cutscenes in this game, but uh, there are many of them. The uh, and they're like extended. We'll talk about that I'm sure on the main pod, but like yes. I was very surprised at how long they would go. I uh, realized how uh, what a treat that used now. to be for me. Yes. <laughs> for yes. Me. I'd be like, oh, sick, a cutscene, like, because it, it, it really? was, this done was a He's defining game in that it, it yeah. was so cinematic, it felt like you're playing a movie, still. and so anytime it was just still. a movie, I was like, oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, where during that time, now, a day, we've had so much of it, I'm like, I can't believe I'm just yeah. <laughs> watching this, you know what I mean? Like, get me to the game. Get me to the game, baby. What are we doing? Um, but I used to really 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 love like it felt like i earned it you know it's yeah like, oh, i earned another portion of the story what a what a treat you know totally and up uh, i mean up until like this generation of games the cutscenes we had for almost exclusively would have been in uh, in the game yeah like if it were a final fantasy mm -hmm. it would be on the same it's not like they would cut to camera angles right um this all of course especially in this game is because uh, has a lot to do with Hideo Kojima, the director of this game, being coming from like a cinema background mm -hmm. and like wanting before you know eventually getting into video games, considering being a filmmaker. Yeah, and I mean he is kind of a I mean he is a filmmaker. That's cool. You can just crawl right over it. Oh, ration, what's up? Eat that. I wonder what the ration is. <laughs> Is it just like a stock like meal? What, P? One P? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Veggies okay. really get it done. What happened? Uh, did I miss the opportunity the to call? call? Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous mm -hmm. weapon. If things Thank are getting you, too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for I like advice. As far as the controls go in this game, do you feel any particular way about the controls? I, um, the, it, I, I love it all. Uh, tank, tank. Tank controls. Hard. Yeah. Uh, the only time it really bothers me is, uh, like a second ago when I was crawling out of that vent. Yeah. That's the only time. It's like when mm -hmm. I'm crawling out of a vent and there's a moment where you are continuously crawling in yeah. that direction and you have to like quickly be like oh my god uh, back up yep uh, Stop. that's the only time that it really bugs me otherwise i think like for maybe it's just like for this game yeah it's like perfect i feel like yeah um because the maps are, are also like it's not like um um there, there's, I don't know. There's, there's a mix. It's not just hallways, or it's not yeah. just, you know what I mean. There's, mo there's moments like that moment outside where it's mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, I can like run and I have a lot more free range of motion. Um, there's variety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in. Uh, I feel pretty much the same exact way as you do. I was really Press interested to hear how you felt being someone down. who grew up with this game and have played it for a while. But I also think the controls are great for this game yeah i think even little things they fine-tuned really well i don't know how everyone feels about the shooting in this game i love it i think it especially with the socom you press square and you hold it and you kind of aim by moving the control yeah. obviously back and forth on the control yeah. pad yeah. or the d-pad in this game so, uh so, so many calls, calls. Oh, early on you're, you're just getting bombarded with, with calls there should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there try to find it I mean, bro, don't, I mean, obviously. Come on, man. Give me something I can work with. Being a, being a tactical espionage game, it really did give me a good sense of, like, not wanting to get caught. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just truly really was, like, would walk on, felt like I was walking on uh, eggshells this entire game. Oh, get away from me, sir. Oh, yeah, the different... 
you're, we're seeing, if you're looking at the screen right now, you'll see that that door had a little, uh, I was like in between a yawn and a burp just now, <laughs> <laughs> and it came out weird, but uh, you'll see a little uh, two, it's pretty easy to figure out that that's a car key, oh there's a camera right there. Uh, you get different access uh, as you go through the game. You get different card key levels, so you can obviously go through door one. Pretty soon in the game, we're going to get the door one key, uh, all the level two access keys. That, I thought, was really interesting as far as just, like, getting through the game. When that was happening, I was like, oh, this feels so much like a Metroid game to me. Yeah. Just, like, you can go through little little certain sections of where you are. Right. But then when you come back with a different card key, you can go through more. Yes. There's a particular corridor, I think on the second level of this exact section, or the basement, where there are a bunch of doors, and when the first time I went back, I was like, oh, I can go through, and I can <laughs> get these guns and rations and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, got my saves. Yeah, I really love it. just exploring, like... It feels like every little, every more part you uncover, more you uncover in this game. See, there's a level one door. Uh, obviously, the more interesting it gets. And like Revolver Ocelot, which is the first boss in this game, is really cool. But Revolver Ocelot is not as, at least I think, not near as fun as fighting like Ninja, who sure. I fought yesterday, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. Ninja, Psycho Mantis, I just oh, fought. Don't, yeah, don't get me started. Uh, Maybe one of the best bosses of I, all time. Yeah. Uh, well, we gotta talk about Psycho Mantis yeah, a little yeah, later. I mean, that that's was like some, a, could be its own podcast. Yeah. That's like, really? man. Uh, I feel like someone should do, I've thought about, it'd be really fun to do, which they do this about different shows, like you've seen the, there's the Gilmore Guys podcast. Oh, another little area? Oh. Um, there's Gilmore guys, but it'd be fun to do just a podcast about one game. Do like a eight episodes uh -huh. on a game. Uh -huh. This would be a perfect candidate oh, man. for that. There's a lot to there's a lot to unpack. We're not gonna do an episode of this without having a spinoff idea. So here's your spinoff <laughs> idea for this. One. Oh, there's another oh, event God. I think up there to the right oh, where you God. can go through. Oh goodness. Okay. Get away from me, sir. You can't see me through this. Uh, through these thin grates. Right. <laughs> Please turn around. <laughs> Not quite what I was going for. Oh, man. Okay. Nice. Luckily, their field of vision is very limited. It's pretty terrible. Did they do any, like, aptitude tests for these guys as far as, like, <laughs> vision and... <laughs> See, this is funny. I'm blind to see as you. a bat, but I got a job. I don't know. <laughs> they just gave me a gun. I just got to walk around and hope no guys infiltrate this space. You're going... So this is funny to watch you go about this game. When I first played, this is the way I came in to the base. Mm. Not the way you did. I was like... I assumed oh. I couldn't get past that camera by the stairs. Oh. Yeah. So I, I don't even here. know where I'm going. You're, I mean, eventually. Am I going back outside? Yeah. Oh, and if fuck. you fall, but if you follow it around, it just takes you. Remember that grate we found on the other wall? Yes. Uh, it's a way for you to look in, in and out of that area. Okay. That's really it. Okay. So it's a waste of time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a little water point. Oh, thank you. Uh, I thought this was it. My memories are still a little hazy. Thank you, Connor. Hey, for keeping it's me okay. on track it's here. It's okay. It's okay. You know, it's very fresh for me. I just I got to dive into this this week. Um, so does this look pretty much how you remember it too. Yeah. Okay. It does. I mean, I you know obviously, <laughs> I'm not blown away yeah. by <laughs> graphics anymore. Uh, but there's just too much emotional attachment to this yeah. game that I'm just like, I love it, I, it immediately. Uh, the models are, are so good. Like even comparing this to like Ocarina of Time, which is one of my favorite games, those are, are so polygonal. Like Link is like looks right. his face looks like a triangle. Well, that was I remember kind of like the uh, defining separation mm -hmm. with Nintendo and PlayStation at the time is PlayStation was like you know real. We, yeah, we, we're making realistic <laughs> exactly. And then you know Nintendo was clean. Yeah, everything was like clean and sharp and felt good and uh, but yeah, uh, oftentimes it was like kind of cartoony or you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like that was always the trade-off. Whereas like, this is limited by its. How do I? Do you have to press start? circle by that green button. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All that work. 
just trying to get to an elevator, guys. Tricky. Yeah. Nice kick, dude. Ooh. Straight out of Tekken, like Jeremy and I were playing earlier. You know, you know my solid snake, baby. Baby, I'm out of there. Okay. Now if I, oh, tell And then the panel's on the right below you. So if you walk just straight down. Press circle, I think. So press it, and then you could go down. Boom. Yeah. Also, when I first was playing this, I was like, why is it level 13.1? <laughs> it took me an hour to realize it was B for basement. Uh, that's funny. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. Oh, He's man. The green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Forget what DARPA stands for, but it's Ver the good yeah, guys. And there he is. You could do that to see him hanging out in there. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, this is so fun. Yeah, you're gonna have to find another way in, my friend. I remember. Mm -hmm, and you're mm -hmm. about to find it. There we are. Who wants to talk climb, to me so climb much? that ladder? If you want to go up yeah. or down a ladder, uh, press, just the, action press the action button by the ladder. Thanks, man. I got it. Thank you, Chief. Called him Colonel earlier. Guess his name's Chief. Okay, another vent. Oh, okay. there we are. Oh, doop, doop. Uh -huh. Yes. Nothing. Oh. Someone's oh, taking a dump. Oh, it's a soldier. <laughs> I hate Alaska. Caught a cold. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to himself. <laughs> okay. So he may have just shit in his pants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause or that was like the mine. that was like the employee. Uh, that was like your you a job you hate. Yeah. Like, oh, ah, I gotta go to the bathroom. And, and you're just like just. <sighs> Just resting out. for ten minutes, <laughs> yeah. trying exactly. to like get through the day. Exactly. Hmm. Oh, that's an item. Nobody in there. Okay. Except some items later. I didn't realize we're in Alaska. I don't think ever in my life until just now. Yeah. <laughs> the, I have a. There's going to be a point in the podcast where I I ask you a couple uh, quiz questions. Uh oh. And I've got one that's not a lot. That that wasn't one of them, but it's another thing that I was like, this game, what? Oh this man. This is a part of the game. <laughs> I'm gonna I'd, fail yeah. that quiz. <laughs> it's the quiz. It's just for fun. You won't. <laughs> there's no grade. I promise. There she is. Not. There Legend. she is. Okay. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere yeah, in that man. area. Yeah, man. It was just behind. You were you are walking Take away from it. Oh, oh it's probably why he was right? like. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you go back, then we'll find the DARPA chief. Is that the pooping one? Oh no, this is it. You found it. Yeah. DARPA chief. Anyway, um, we're at that about that point. So we're this is a perfect point to end. Right? We're meeting this the DARPA chief. This is where the demo ends. Oh, is it really? 100%. I'm going to pretend like I planned that <laughs> and I'm just, uh, just so, so well. Just, I'm on my game. Truly, this is where it ended. Um, uh, but this like, is a great scene. It's too bad we're going to uh, miss this. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is the video portion of Call Me By Your Game, the, the Metal Gear Solid episode with Mikey Stevens. Uh, please... Uh, do yourself a favor and listen to the actual podcast, uh, which you can find, I'm sure, in, in all the feeds. Mm -hmm. Start. I would. I would start with the uh, Apple Podcasts. I know for sure it's going to be there. The other ones, we'll see what we want. Yeah, try those too. Yeah, uh, listen to it on all of them repeatedly, you know Thank multiple you. times. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, give me those. We're gonna put, maybe put it on YouTube as well, listen even the there. audio part. Listen there. I'll we'll take watch there. It's possible. Uh, you know. <laughs> Alan's a great dude. That's a thank you. This is for <laughs> me. Uh, this is all for me. Uh, anyway, this is the end of the video portion. Um, so uh, yeah, catch us on the audio portion. And that's that's the way I decided to sign out this one. Great. Goodbye. Okay. 
who were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth.